Now, Snickerdoodle, I have to go over to the snow biome because I've got some building to do there. I'm just getting materials together. I'm leaving you in charge. Okay, you've got to hold the fort. No wild elf parties. You know where I keep the cocoa beans, the sugar and the milk? Feel free to make yourself a hot chocolate or three. Hello, Possum Strainer Smith here in Alphacroft in the Christmas Village. And I'm just going to put my armour back on because it's freezing. The last time I saw decent snow was in Nepal and that was a very long time ago. I'm not used to the cold. So I've come out here to do a build because I, oh, I love this house and I knew exactly what it was when I saw it. When I saw the outside, I knew exactly what it was. It's a sewing machine. I think it's beautiful. It's so clever. I love the gingerbread house. I had an idea for a house. I was going to do a gingerbread house, then Spider did one, and hers is beautiful. I had another idea for a build, and Dibs is doing it. <laughs> so then I had a final idea, and I thought, I better get out here quick sticks and do mine before someone else does it. So enough talking. I always talk too much, don't I? Now, I've done some preparation. I have put snow blocks down around this. It doesn't matter how I light it. It stays snowy. Hopefully, I've put down enough. Now, I've marked out where this is going. Um, I could keep this secret, but you guys will have seen the thumbnail. Oh, that's wrong. You'll know what I'm doing. I'm making a snow globe house. Uh, is that right? No, that is not right. That's right. And that's right. And oh, look, look, I'm using glazed terracotta. How terribly shocking. How unusual. That goes on the top. Once I get this right, I'll be right for the rest of it. And from the back. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, once I get this right, I'll be right for the rest. All right, that goes on that side. And, yep. So this, no. This and that. Yay. And then, uh, spruce trap door. There'll be another one on the top, but I can't put that on just yet. Alright, let's get the rest of this done. And last one. There we go, that's the pattern. Alright, smooth stone slabs on top of the whole thing, which also spawn proofs this. And now smooth port slabs all the way around. Now I can add in all the dark oak trapdoors. And the way to get in and out of this is quite simple, although we'll have to do it here, I think. You just crouch and come through. Now we just need some end rods and the base of the snow globe on the outside will be done. Right, I'm going to put the end rods in on the inside but I'm not going to finish the floor just yet. Okay, that's almost all our internal lighting done. It's all our external lighting finished. Let's have a look. I don't think that's bad for a base for a snow globe. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, my mother-in-law, whom I love, loves snow globes. So when I was thinking, what do I do? I thought, why not a snow globe? Because she loves them. What goes in it, <laughs> that's entirely down to me. I'm being selfish. I'm doing something 
I love for the inside, <laughs> which of course means that probably no one else will understand what it is. That's the risk we run. All right, the next thing we'll do is add the snow because you can't have a snow globe if it isn't full of snow. And I think the glass part we will do as a time lapse. Okay, that's one layer, and now we'll do the last layer. And where do we want uh, the up will be over there because there's going to be a way to get into this snow globe, which I thought would be kind of fun. There we go. Let's make the way in. So we'll just move these out of the way. And we'll put them there for the time being. Now we will use my floating ladder trick. Because I really like it. So trapdoors and ladders on trapdoor. And there'll be a birch ladder up here. And in the meantime we'll just pop down some torches just to spawn proof this for the moment. Alright, I'm going to go and get a whole lot of glass and I'll meet you back here for a time lapse. So that's the snow globe. It's actually accumulating some snow, which is interesting. Um, now we've just got to do the insides of it. So we're going to have a tree there and a tree there. Might just get the lighting sorted out before we go too far. A lamp there. there I think. One, two and one on the ground, three. And a fire there. Now this tree is going to be seven tall. The trunk, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wow, look. It's snowing outside our snow globe. That is so cool. It's like a reverse snow globe. Oh, that is excellent. I love it. So that's seven, this one's six. One, two, three, four four, five, six. I should get some scaffolding. <laughs> I love our reverse snow globe. It's beautiful. And 
we'll start making our custom spruce. It's not much of a custom spruce, it's just a variation on your standard one. Oh, the shape's all right. It's a bit hard to tell from in here. Uh, we'll build it and then we'll have a look from outside. Uh, that's actually a good tree shape. I'm happy with that. Look at this though. Wow. Oh, that's fantastic. A snow globe covered in snow. <laughs> All right, next tree. <coughs> oh, all I needed. Oh, yeah. They're good. Oh, it's a sheep. Good. Yeah. Nice trees. Oh, it's nice to come into the warm. All right, believe it or not, this is almost finished. It's quite a simple decoration. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? At night, in the snow. Oh, this place is going to look fantastic. Fantastic when everyone's done building here. I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with. I love the North Pole. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Enough, enough. As I said, this is quite simple. If you work out what this is before I finish it, tell me in the comments. You didn't expect that. And believe it or not, that's it. That's as simple as it gets. I just wish I could make him like a foot taller. That would be cool. And we need a rat, but I can't get a rat. Okay, that is like the world's simplest snow globe. <laughs> so that's it. I know it's really plain and simple, but that's how I wanted it. And if we have a look inside, it's plain and simple inside too. We've got a little bit going on. Table and chairs. We've got Albert here with one of his dire fry-ups. And a cat that's turned up. There's a bed for Albert because if we come up here and we come around here, the hog father doesn't need a bed, do you, sir? So if you guess this was a snow globe of Terry Pratchett's hog father, you're right. I did have um, pigs in here on a test world, but they walk over the fire all the time and turn themselves into chops. So no pigs. And I thought about dogs, but auditors? No, I don't think so. So it's not the Christmas extravaganzas that Steena and Spider get up to. It's my own weird little thing. There we are, the Hog Father by Terry Pratchett. And spell correctly, an excellent Christmas read. Now, before anyone has a fit about Xmas, it's not Xmas, it's Chimus. Because if you spell Christos in Greek, Chi, Rho, Yota, and then don't know the name of the rest of them. So we've got Kai from the beginning of the Greek word for Christ, for Christ Christos. We've got Mass from the Latin Missa, meaning liturgy. And a liturgy is a formula of public religious worship. So let's take that down. 
So if anyone ever says, Xmas is wrong, it's pagan. It's not, it's actually the opposite of pagan. <laughs> All right, potentially dangerous and foolhardy, but I want to look at this at night. Oh, it's pretty. Probably needs more decoration, but I'm a bit done in at the moment. I'll, I might come back and do other things with it, but for the moment, there's our snow globe. So Albert and the cat and I are going to say, you know what we're going to say, if you've liked this, hit the like button. Whoops, subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. Select all to notifications on and I'll see you next time. Bye.